Uh, we're still continuing with correlation analysis and in this video we are going to see how to calculate how to, to determine the relationship between the variables using Spearman's method and this is the formula that we use it is 1 this one is not there it is 1 minus 6 summation d squared out of n into brackets n squared minus 1 whereby d it represents the difference between the ranks and then n is the number of items the clear formula is here r is equal to 1 minus 6 summation d squared out of n into brackets n squared minus 1 the difference between Carl Pearson's method that we looked at in the previous video and Spearman's method is that this one uses ranked data that data that has ranks first second third like that yeah so from our formula n represents the observations or the number of observations and this is the difference between the ranks of the value of the corresponding variables we shall be seeing the ranks yeah so we have an example here example the recent concluded beauty contest, two judges awarded percentage marks to the top 10 contestants as shown in the table below. So we have two judges and they were all giving different marks. So the table shows the contestants numbers, contestant 15, 21, 13, like that. Then the marks that were given by judge A and then judge B like that so required they want us to determine the relationship between the marks given by judge a and the marks given by judge b so we use spearman's method because this data requires ranking we are supposed to rank it in order for us to get the solution so we draw the table contestant number like the way it was given here in the table so we write it here then judge a and then judge b yeah so we write them the way they were given in the question then we rank we rank the marks that were given by judge a yeah, we rank you, you can either rank from lowest to highest or from highest to lowest any can work so here we are going to rank from from lowest to highest so for 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 judge a 65 is the lowest so it becomes our number one and then 69 is the second it becomes our number two 70 is the next number three 72 is the next number four 74 is the next number five like that up to when we reach to number 10 to the highest then we also rank the marks that were given by judge b yeah, so we are starting from lowest to highest according to judge b 60 is the lowest so it becomes our number one mm. Sixty is the lowest. It becomes our number one. Then um, sixty-eight is the second lowest. It becomes our number two. Seventy-two is the next number three. Seventy-three number four. Seventy-five number five like that up to when we reach to the highest, which is ninety-seven, and it becomes our number ten. Then after ranking, we get the difference between the ranks. We get the difference between the ranks. So we do 5 minus 4, we get 1. 10 minus 10, 0. 8 minus 9, negative 1. 3 minus 3, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. This minus this negative 1 like that. After that, remember our our question requires us to have 
requires us to have d squared in order for us to calculate according to the formula we are supposed to have d squared so we square the difference that we've gotten so one we put it on the calculator one squared you get one that's what we put there then zero squared it is zero like that zero squared it is zero negative one squared it is one like that you square the difference between the ranks then after that you get the total the total of the squared difference summation d squared which which was 20. yes yeah, so after that we are going to substitute in our formula we are going to substitute in our formula we said r is equal to 1 minus 6 summation d squared out of n into brackets n squared minus 1 so r is equal to 1 minus 6 our summation d squared was 20 according to here it is 20 then n is the number of observations the number of contestants 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so that n so our n is 10 and here 10 squared minus 1 you substitute in put it into the calculator you calculate then our r is 0 0.879 and we said in the first video that if the relationship or if r is greater than 0 0.5 positive 0 0.5 it means that there is a strong positive relationship between between the variables so here there is a strong relationship strong positive you add it a strong positive relationship between the max given by the two judges there is a strong positive relationship let's see it for contestant 15 when judge a gave her 74 yeah judge b gave her 73 so there is a relationship the difference is only one mark here they gave her 98 and 97 the difference is one mark here 90 91 difference one mark 70 72 difference two marks so there is a strong positive relationship between the marks given by judge a and judge b yeah so that was all about the spearman's method of correlation then there is the last one which is called the spurious correlation and this is where two variables when compared show some degree of relationship yet in real sense they have no relationship it is also known as no sense relationship when they show that there is a relationship